dear friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the Libra New Moon webinar of the 2025 initiative. Today, we start the new cycle of meditations. Meditation for the common good. This is an experiment in self-organizing group work. Over to you, Rebecca. Thank you. And so the title of our project reflects our intention to explore new ways of working together in group formation as part of our greater intention to enhance the common good of our planet and all its kingdoms through our meditative efforts. So we'll have some more words from DK shortly that enlarge on the vision for group work and group po process within the context of an ashram. But here you see the current formulation of our statement of purpose. And thanks to everyone who offered feedback and expressed your levels of resonance through our resonance board so far. And the level of resonance with this statement so far has been pretty high. So let's magically reinforce our resonance with our purpose by sounding our purpose now with intent. To support the manifestation of the spiritual plan for our planet through group meditation, which focuses the power of joint intention for the common well being of humanity and Earth's overall planetary life which enables recognition and manifestation of spiritual principles in all fields of human life and activity and which magnifies magnetizes thought forms of solution and supports practical actions that lead to the advancement of humanity. And this was a more um, succinct version of the purpose that I came up with as I was making these slides. So we might um, maybe place that on the resonance board um, for you to think about as well a bit later. And then over to you, Alexander, to um, give us DK's words. As we were preparing to this webinar, I came across um, the quote that can serve as an inspiration for our work. And as we proceed working with, through the cycles of the new moons, working meditatively for the common good of all, I suggest we keep this quote in mind. An ashram is the state of mind of a spiritual group. It is a point of united thought. It is a center for the clarification of the vision and not of physical plain methods of work. As disciples learn to integrate themselves into a massive ashram, they discover that the first thing they have to do is to establish a, a basic harmony between themselves and their fellow disciples and to reinforce the contact between their own souls, the ashramic group and the master. 
then they learn to comprehend through discussion and experiment the nature of the energies which are seeking world expression and the nature of the forces which must be reduced to powerlessness if this new incoming energies are to prove effective in bringing about the desired changes under the plan. Now I invite Tracy to lead us in the naming circle as we come together as one group linking through space with light and love. Over to you, Tracy. Thank you, Alexander. As we begin our focus today in this new moon meditation, the naming circle unites our hearts across distance. As we begin our alignment and bring ourselves fully into our group work, by uniting our hearts in this way, we begin naturally to work telepathically through our group mind. The key to this telepathic work is in the etheric alignment, which creates the group field and allows to become both a receiving and transmitting agent for higher ideas and energies. We will begin by calling our names into the circle starting with our organizers and then the action group members. As your name is called, please unmute yourself. Say your name and where you are calling in from. For example, Tracy Arbor calling in from Novi, Michigan, USA. And as we go through this, let us turn our attention to our hearts and the heart center of the group gathered today as each one of us calls ourself into this circle. Alexander. Alexander Ilchuk calling from Brooklyn, New York. And uh, Katya okay. Kaufman, I'm sorry, <laughs> cutting in. Okay. Katya Kaufman also from New York. Welcome Alexander and Katya. Rebecca. Rebecca in Queensland, Australia, on the East Coast. Welcome, Rebecca. Catherine. Catherine Davison from San Antonio, Texas. Welcome, Catherine. Brigitte. Birgit Rasmussen calling from Denmark. Welcome, Brigitte. Anna Marie. Uh, Anna Marie Skovgaard from Denmark. Welcome. Welcome. Annette. From Denmark. Welcome. Avon. Avon Madison, San Francisco Bay Area, USA. Welcome. Barbara. Welcome, Barbara. Cheryl. Cheryl Benson, Iowa, USA. Welcome. Danielle. Welcome, Danielle. Darcy. Hello, everybody. This is Darcy Sessions calling in from Washington, D.C. area, USA. Welcome. Diana. This is Diana De La Mer, Columbus, Ohio, USA. Welcome. Dot. Dot Maver calling in from New Jersey, USA. Welcome. Frederick. Frederick. Welcome. Georgina.
Welcome, Georgina. James. Welcome, James. Joe. Welcome, Joe. Joe Sachs. This is Joe, Joe Walls coming from Washington, oh. D.C., USA. Great. Thank you, Joe. Welcome. Josette. Josette, calling from France, close to Strasbourg. Welcome. Kim. Kim from Queenstown in New Zealand. Welcome. Leslie. Welcome, Leslie. Lynn. Lynn Morgia, calling in from Tucson, Arizona, Southwestern USA. Welcome. Maka. Maka. Marco Watson calling in from Kauai, Hawaii. Welcome. Marina. Welcome, Marina. Uh, Marina Bernardi calling from uh, from Italy. From Italy. Welcome, Marina. Martha. Hello, everybody. Martha Galley from Weehawken, New Jersey, USA. Welcome. Maritime. Martin Dupont from Belgium, Chatelet. Welcome. Maya. Maya Costley from Grass Valley, California, Northern. California, USA. Welcome. Michael. Hi, aloha everyone. This is Michael calling in from the big island of Hawaii. Welcome. Olga. Uh, hello, this is Olga de Lupiani from Athens, Greece. Thank you. Welcome. Risa. Welcome, Risa. Robin. <laughs> Welcome, Robin. Tara. Tara Stewart, calling in from Walpole, New Hampshire. Welcome. And Yvette. Hi, <clears throat> this is Yvette from Austin, Texas, United States. Welcome. Thank you, everyone. Now that we are linked together as a group, let us share a few moments in silence to align, forming a triangle between Shambhala, the hierarchy, and humanity. May our efforts be of the highest vibration, selfless service for our purpose.
over to you, Alexander. Thank you, Tracy, and thank you, friends. Today, our focus is on the topic of participatory governance, responsibility and new leadership. This is the first webinar in the new series. And bef before we start bringing our intention into the group field uh, through sharing, Rebecca, Tracy, and I want to give a quick overview of the workflow with group meditation in this new series of New Moon Meditation Webinars, Meditation for the Common Good. Over to you, Tracy. I'd like to share with you some of the topics or the topics that we've come up with thus far uh, through the resonance board. The first one is leadership and governance uh, via the Cardinal Cross, Libra, Capricorn, Aries, and Cancer, which is what we are joining today to meditate upon. The action areas for meditation in this section or on this topic would be participatory governance, leadership, and responsibility, where top-down meets bottom-up, grassroots, and new ways of governance, centennial goals and plans beyond the SDGs, planetary commitment to evolutionary unfoldment, illusion, glamour, and the search for truth in the disinformation age. Leadership around communication and technology, transhuman, hum, I'm sorry, transhumanism and the common good. New ways of working, holding increasing heaviness with increased joy, and unity through sound beyond language. The second topic will be on resourcing and sharing via the fixed cross, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo. The action areas for meditation on this topic will be money as a fractal of the plan, sharing, gifting, and abundance in economics, providing for basic human needs, sharing and repurposing resources to provide decent living for all. Transparency and accountability in public funds and management. Economics and the rights of nature. The UN's SDGs as catalysts for common good, resourcing and sharing. The five planetary inlets as distributors for the high counts of the SDGs and the meeting of the planetary need. The significance of resourcing for education, art, and culture. The necessity for sharing and resourcing for the realization of human rights. And the third topic is on relationships and harmonization via the mutable cross, Sagittarius, Pisces, Gemini and Virgo. The areas for meditation on this topic will be humanity's well being, vitality, well being, wholeness, awareness of the energy body and its impacts, dissipating the fear of death, the meaning of and humanity's relationship with planetary climate, art, culture, and right relations in the light of the plan. Peace, nuclear disarmament, seeding humanity's thought life with peace. Harmonizing conflict, building effective relationships and communication. 
reaching beyond language and culture, unity through sound. Psychosis and the souls of the nations. Pilgrimage, the souls of nations in right relations. The good of all, harmonizing relationships as a mechanism for actioning human rights. And finally, UN Declaration on Human Rights. These are the three main topics. Over to you, Rebecca. Thank you, Tracy. And um, a selection of those topics underneath those three topic headings is on the resonance board and is still open for voting. Um, if if you would like to express your resonance with, with some of those areas. Um, we also are in this project introducing four leadership areas and it's um, good to talk about them today since we're actually focusing on the topic of leadership and participatory leadership and government. So we have here, um, the four areas just in a diagram. In the centre, um, we have the jurisdiction of the Christ, which um, some who have attended our previous forums will recognise um, from part of our um, concept document that we've supplied for this project. Um, and um, just that's a reference to an instruction from DK um, urging us to united world, unanimous and simultaneous meditation for the jurisdiction of the Christ um, and the importance of this work through meditation to establish the knowledge of and the functioning of the laws and principles which will control the coming era and the new civilization and world culture and um, that the need for that to be done for Christ to be able to exercise his power and authority and return um, to that jurisdiction. So that's why that's at the middle. Um, our four leadership areas are um, community vision at the top there in the blue circle and that's everyone can participate in that through the resonance boards and um, any open forums that we um, that are offered. Um, so we invite everybody to be part of that. Um, and then to the right there is the action area groups and this is the new area that's um, we're charging today. <coughs> um, uh, our first action area group is um, offering the meditations and the seed thoughts and the synthesis statements today. <coughs> so this is um, an area where you might choose a, a topic from the resonance board um, and if you express your interest of bringing the webinars to life. Custodians of purpose in the purple circle is a um, meditative group who are holding purpose for the for the project overall um, and providing a meditative um, foundation and support for all the external work um, and we're hoping that they will also be uh, bringing their attention to the laws and principles and meditating on those as we work with our topics um, for the common good. Um, the synthesizing and coordination and communication group is um, the, the engine room that helps to make all the actions happen <coughs> um, and um, sends out the emails and organizes the meetings and supports the action area groups to become more and more self-organizing in um, running the project and self-governing the project and um, so if you want to participate in any of those areas 
we would love to hear from you. You can express your interest on the resonance board, which um, Sasha will post a link to in the in the chat box at some time during the webinar. Um, and you can also just email us direct if you're interested in being involved in any of those areas. And um, we're grateful for people for all of those areas to, to um, support the project. So over to you again now, Sasha. Thank you, Rebecca. Um, the link to the resonance board is now in the chat, so we uh, welcome and encourage you to share your residence or this resonance uh, with this suggested structure of our new moon work for the coming month and maybe even years. Um, I want to add to this a uh, little bit about the work of the action area group. So in preparation for this webinar and in preparation for all the coming webinars, those people who is resonant with the topic and the focus are called to come together in the month before the new moon and start researching, studying and reflecting on the topic and the focus and thus building the group field and group intention around each uh, topic. Thus, as the action area group that's been working on the today's uh, topic of uh, participatory governance, been meditating for the last two weeks, starting from uh, Libra full moon, and uh, shared a few days ago, we shared with you the summary uh, prepared by this group. So the, you can see in the chat window the compilation uh, of materials and links and reflections uh, uh, prepared by this group. Some of you uh, who registered for this webinar received it via email. Those who registered a little bit later probably didn't receive it yet, but you are welcome to follow the link in this uh, chat. And with this, I suggest we bring our focus to the topic of the story governance. But before that, one more uh, guidance from Rebecca on the flow of our work today as we focus the topic of governance. Over to you, Rebecca. Thanks, Alexander. And um, thank you, everyone, for, the, for your resonance. and. I think this image really um, defines what's happening here as we come together and um, around this topic. So um, now that we've done all this explaining and we've come together through the um, naming circle, we will um, have some sharing by the action area group, um, synthesizing statements um, from the impressions and the meditation work that's been undertaken over the last two weeks. And then we will go move into a meditation that Alexander will lead and which will be seeded with seed thoughts from um, the action area group. Following the meditation, there'll be a silent time where you can contribute some impressions and thoughts in writing into a document that um, Alexander will explain us how to access. Um, and then following that, we'll have the, the floor open for discussion or comment or sharing of impressions um, from anyone who feels moved to share. Um, we'll, we'll then bring that together in the chalice for distribution and Alexander will close with um, future directions and what's happening next. So just have, so you have a bit of an understanding of how the flow will go. So let's settle ourselves now as we prepare to share. 
and um, I'll hand the microphone to Catherine who will open the sharing. Thank you, Rebecca. Um, I'd like to start with a reflection on some core principles of Libra. Libra concerns itself with right human relations in all spheres of endeavor. And the new group of world servers are particularly concerned with the cultivation and expression of goodwill in order to create world conditions for the reappearance of the Christ. Relational skills include leadership, governance, child rearing, partnering, teamwork, communications, and beyond that, attunement to Davic, planetary, and cosmic beings. It's noteworthy that the energies of Libra are essential in drawing energies from the heart of the sun to contribute to the construction of the Antakarana. And I'll offer this quote from the Tibetan on the essence of spiritual service. Service is, par excellence, the technique of correct group relations, whether it be the right guidance of an antisocial child in a family, the wise assimilation of a troublemaker in a group, the handling of antisocial groups in our big cities, the correct technique to be employed in child guidance in our educational centers, or the relation between the religious and political parties, or between nation and nation. All of this is part of the new and growing science of service. Your gate. True leadership is inclusive and understand the higher purpose of all parts of the nation. Today, politics in most democracies are divided in two wings and the Prime Minister is chosen from one of the two parts. Also in many countries, the two, the two opposition parties are very even, and that may symbolize a readiness in humanity to move away from oppositions and into triangles. To shift into triangle consciousness necessitate an understanding of the purpose of both parts and a desire for cooperation. Right human relations and equilibrium of Libra is required when the two parts recognize each other. The one group as a progressive group, alert to new possibilities and moving forward. And the other group, a reactionary group, holding back and make sure it is not going too fast so that all can be included in the progress. Then both groups can fulfill its purpose to do good and cooperate for the best of the whole of the nation. We are told that in the future, the world leaders will be members of the hierarchy. Maybe when both groups cooperate, the people will be able to invoke the needed leaders, creating the third point of the triangle.
participatory government governance in empowering citizens to take responsibility for the state of affairs within which they live holds the seeds of purification from blame and lower ego defense for in taking up the power to govern in company with others we must surely begin to learn that we ourselves are responsible for the bridging of differences that may otherwise act as obstructions and for the upholding of the collaborative effort that will generate outcomes that work for ourselves and for our communities. As advocates for the common good, we walk this path together with all humanity. Innovative experiments in participatory governments are well underway in the world. Their development is opening the possibility for the law of right human relations to become active within planetary life as the living current of the principle of goodwill expresses through humanity throughout the three worlds of form existence. DK tells us that this expression will embody the love principle, yet he also says that love will often disturb the equilibrium of matter and material circumstance, suggesting that the principle of goodwill develops through struggle and the fire of purification that struggle evokes through the activation of the will as the exercise of the will to good. So in true Libran fashion, we can think of the process of participatory governance as a balancing of the inner and the outer. We're called to learn to govern ourselves inwardly as we master the challenges of engaging with the group in the outer processes of participatory governance. Eventually we will learn as a race to listen to the call of truth intrinsic within the higher principles that resonate in our souls and that will lead us into a place of unanimity. As we enter into the Aquarian age, the transition period, which is about set about 700 years, is ruled by the sign of Libra. So for another 350 years approximately, this transition will take place. In this time, the old modes of functioning will be superseded by the new methods based on the new Aquarian principles. In the meantime, we witness the process of balancing of polarities 
in each field of human activity. This process is accompanied with the awakening of the masses. As humanity undergoes the process of the first initiation, known as the awakening for this fact of the soul, each individual and humanity as a whole shifts from the principle of self-interest to the principle of the common good. Shift from solar plexus to the heart. Decay tells us that those set of principles work simultaneously in humanity. So there are those of us who are still governed by the principles of self-interest and as they progress on the path and their heart opens, they become awake to the principles of the group love, to the principle of the common good. Does the the positions that we see in the world is the reflection of this process and therefore we should see the dynamic unfoldment. And as we live through this period of transition ruled by Libra, we should always seek how to balance all those opposites because each of those parts of humanity different by different uh, set of principles been on different stages of evolution they have their tasks in the common purpose does the governance and the leaders of the new time they have to look into the common good where interests of all are met. Those who ruled by the self principles and those who ruled by the principles of love and wisdom. Here's the quote from the externalization of the hierarchy on the experiment of right human relations and the power of goodwill. I call you to no organizational loyalties, but only to love your fellow men. I call you from your dreams of vague beauty, impossible utopias and wishful thinking to face life as it is today. And then to begin in the place where you are to make it better. I call you to experiment of right human relations, beginning with your own personal relations to your family and friends. And then to the task of educating those you contact so that they also start a similar work. It is the work of attaining right individual relations, right group relations, right intergroup relations right national relations and right international relations. I call you to the realization that in this work, no one is futile or useless, but that all have a place of practical value. I call you to recognize that goodwill is a dynamic energy which can bring about world changes of a fundamental kind and that its mode of expression is through the activity of the individual men and women and through them massed intent. The massed power of goodwill, the dynamic effect of intelligent and active understanding, 
and the potency of a trained and alive public opinion which desires the greatest good of the greatest number are beyond belief. This dynamic power has never been employed. It can today save the world. Upon reflecting on this topic of participatory responsibility and Plato's idea of the four cardinal virtues and their role in ethical behavior came to mind. The four virtues being that of wisdom, courage, wisdom, courage, moderation, and justice. With wisdom, it is the ability to recognize, differentiate, and choose between right and wrong. It possesses the capacity to make sensible decisions and judgments based on personal knowledge or experience. And when used from a standpoint of love and compassion, it enables those or rule to take advice and then act prudently. Courage is fortitude and the ability to confront fear, intimidation, difficulty, and uncertainty. In these new times, we are facing many challenges and changes. We are moving to a higher level or vibration of existence. Courage is what gives us the staying power, both as an individual and humanity as a whole. Moderation or temperance is the quality of practicing self-restraint or self-control. We are faced with this on a daily basis as we observe ourselves and the world around us moving from an astral emotional level of being to a mental orientation. As we, the fifth subrace of the fifth root race, are developing our mental capacities. And finally, justice the bond that unites the other three virtues. Justice is the quality of being fair and reasonable, particularly in how we make decisions and the way we treat our fellow man. A person can become just after having achieved the other three virtues. The interconnectedness of the four virtues state that the human soul is perfect when all of those parts are present and functioning and society is ordered through justice only when the human soul is well ordered in the words of plato only just people can create a just society It is interesting that we are standing now in the energies of the sign of Libra, governed by 
a constellation of Libra, those 700 years, the transition. And in a sense, it's a, a remarkable time where we as humanity, as disciples, as new group, can build the relationship between us. And this is amazing energy, the energy of choice. So when we talk about the opposites, we tend to see it as those two points of the scale. But if we think about dynamic representation of that, and many, uh, many of us just touched upon that subject, you will see, or we rather, will see those two cycles going in two different directions the involutionary and evolutionary path. The path of the matter, experiences in the matter, through the matter. And then the turning point and uh, the experience through the spirit. There is spiritual life beyond the quality of the soul. Turning point is Libra. That moment when the soul is touched in a way that it can make a turn. That the person, as a warrior, decides to step into the energies of Scorpio rather than follow through Virgo. So that moment, that turning point, is extremely important when we come to this understanding of the participatory governance, because as Rebecca said, I believe in the beginning, in order to govern outward, we first need to govern inwardly. This is inner, outer, and then through energies of Libra, we connect with the outer governance, which is the seventh ray, the divine laws. And in Libra, the light starts oscillating upward and allows those laws to come and be freely chosen. And it also to me relates to this moment of love that allows us to understand that there is no right and wrong in a greater sense. There is the way it is, the proportion, the harmony, the relationship as it is now. It doesn't have to be forever. It will change. But now with that's what we have. That love that allows to see that there are many, many truths and then not in reality opposing one another, but rather constitute that that level of harmony and can be a very low level of harmony. Yet it is what we have as a group. And that's the starting point. So this inner governance, outer governance, participation each on every one's level, and those who can connect through the group soul, through the group love, will see the common good. and touch, touch this uh, extremely painful subject of receiving the feedback, Respond, being responsible, receiving the feedback of what is, and correcting and adding to that proportion so it will be different, better, 
or more adequate, ever developing, ever moving within the great flow of love that we all stand in. Thank you. Now we prepare for the meditation. We recognize ourselves standing as one group. linked in the point of dynamic balance in the group heart. We recognize ourselves being part of a bigger group of the new group of world servers. As the world service group, we recognize ourselves in a position of balance between humanity and the hierarchy. And we open our group field to the energies of Libra. As we reflect on the topic of participatory governance, responsibility and new leadership, we align with the triangle of the seven ray, invoking the qualities of each sign. 
areas. Cancer, Capricorn. And we invoke the energies of the third ray triangle. Libra, Cancer, Capricorn. Thus working with the energies of the Cardinal Cross. And as we stand as a group, we lift to the energies of the Cardinal Cross, the chalice of our group sharing. Reflecting on synthesized key seed thoughts for our meditation on participatory governance, responsibility, and new leadership. Catherine. I invoke and activate the quality of goodwill worldwide to establish conditions for the reappearance. True leadership is inclusive and understands the higher purpose of all parts of a nation.
Rebecca, please. Through experiments in participatory governance, we meet the fire of personal challenge. Through personal challenge, we learn to govern ourselves inwardly. Thus, the inner and the outer form a stable balance within the fire of love. And through the will to good, the common good holds sway. The highest and the lowest meet, and spirit irradiates the form. Tracy, please. Let the forces of light bring illumination to mankind through the virtues of wisdom, courage, moderation, and justice. And uh, let our work be guided, aided by the energies of the triangle. Libra, Cancer, and Capricorn. Allowing us to see the quality of the matter we're dealing with, the strength of the light that is needed for our work. And the recognition of the choice to follow through.
and we lift the chalice of the group towards the light of Libra, asking the spiritual hierarchy of the planet to bless the vision for leadership, responsibility, and governance. And we see as the light of this vision distributes through the network of light of the new group of world service to all men and women of goodwill anchoring on the physical plane, manifesting through action leading us to the new age of brotherhood and love. We hold the ideal of the common good, magnetic and attractive for all. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth.
Now we invite us several minutes of silence for continuous reflection and writing down our impressions. As an option, we suggest writing down your impressions into the collaboration board. You can see the link in the chat window. We now open the microphone for the open space sharing. So if anyone would like to share impressions, please raise your hands. And we will unmute you or just invite you to talk if you're already unmuted. Uh, Frida, you're unmuted. Please unmute yourself.
I'm not sure, maybe Frida, you raise your hand by mistake, but if you would like to say something, please unmute yourself. That's uh, Katya. Uh, during the meditation, there was a very strong presence of the energy of uh, Leo, both as a governing sign for the first ray and uh, the presence of the heart, that fourth point, that heart that holds the scale. And thank you. Thank you, Katya. This is Tracy. As we were meditating, uh, I actually could see a light clearing a path, like a path of light coming from above to below to this earth. Um, almost like creating a path of, or a beam of light. Um, and, uh, as a, almost as a response to our meditation, it was like the light opened up and created a path, uh, to shine upon the earth. Thank you, Tracy. Joe, please unmute yourself. Thank you, Alexander. It will take some time to really formulate the impressions. And even with that, I have to say that this meditation and the introductory contributions of the organizing group have deepened in a way the firm, subtle, interconnectivity and right relation that has been established through the vigil group. And I believe these action groups with a specific focus will expand our abilities to impress and receive impressions in a way that is very uh, powerful and will continue to grow. And I sincerely appreciate the comments that everyone has offered and the context in which we were able to enter into this space together today. So thank you all. Thank you, Joe. This is a uh, very powerful work and uh, being together as a group is such a wonderful blending from people from all over being able to do this, especially uh, on the etheric field where we know things will come in from and make manifest onto this planet. There are um, some comments in the chat. Uh, so this comment is from uh, Robin. Participatory governance 
believe it was Rebecca that read several paragraphs in the introductory comments on this topic. May I get a copy of those? It inspires thoughts of how they might be used in my HOA and unconsciously cooperative experimenting process. So maybe Rebecca, you could uh, share those quotes in the uh, collaboration board, uh, summary collaboration page, sorry. And I uh, just placed this comment by Robin into the uh, collaboration board. There was a question earlier from Kim asking about the uh, uh, signing in for uh, to forum. I believe it was misunderstanding Kim because open forum happened in August and September. Uh, and that was the platform through which we collaboratively uh, share, uh, prepare this next phase <laughs> of the new moon work. So this uh, ideas that we presented at the beginning as a result of that open forum that already happened in August and September. And Teresa wrote, I want to acknowledge the tremendous work you all have done to organize the next step for all of us, creating the template for our next level of work together. Thank you, Lisa. And I see uh, Rebecca just pasted the uh, quoted paragraphs into the uh, su resource summary collaboration page. So if you're interested, you can uh, see it there. Yes, I hope that that was what you wanted because they they weren't actually quotes, they were just me. So it might have been somebody else that you were listening to, but have a look and if they're not, then we can ask again. If anyone else would like to share uh, audibly, uh, so please raise your hand. And there was one more comment uh, from Tara. Remember often the scales of balance are held by a feminine figure. The figure could be seen as the mother of the world. Thank you, Tara. Uh, Darcy, please unmute yourself. The energy brought forth within the group field and offered for blessing to the spiritual hierarchy has introduced what I sense and saw in the meditation is best seen within the slide of the diamond light presented today. This light, diamond light of the heart of the sun where each group is a facet of that diamond, a perfect form of the higher spirit expressed through the matter 
of manifesting divinity through the aspects of God, through both and creating that new son of God who is also a son of man, the perfected planetary server of a zodiacal willed pilgrimage of now a centered world savior of Piscine, alchemizing the center humanity, the new age Aquarian server. That pure light that we see in this slide is the light that is a pure laser beam of energy that has been coming through our work and all the work for me with the group servers. And I would draw our attention to the facets of the diamond where each group some are brighter than the others, but each is that diamond. And it touches something very deep and resonant within me that I see and know and believe and am of faith that every group on this planet wherever they are in their expression are that perfecting diamond. And may that magnetic love that we've created within this chalice draw all into that place of remembering. Thank you, Darcy. Our work coming to the end today. I invite us to keep this magnetized field held to keep holding this field and any impressions that will be continue precipitating to share on the resource summary collaboration page. Sorry for this long name, but the link to this page uh, you can see in the chat and I'm uh, just showing on the screen this page. It will be open for anyone and this is our place to share. And I invite Rebecca to sound the closing words of power, bringing our work to the end today. But then I will have a few more words after that. <laughs> yes, you, you do. <laughs> So let us draw together all of these gems as we prepare to go our ways 
within the group heart still. And just touching some of the things that have been ignited in the group chalice. The attitude of service in all relationships, inner and outer governance, the Aquarian transition to right relations, the value of everyone's participation, public opinion imbued with the will to good, Wisdom, courage, moderation, justice, the energy of choice and the choosing of love that sees the many truths, the establishing of conditions for the reappearance through goodwill, presence of Leo and the heart that holds the scale, the mother of the world who holds the scales of justice, the substance of the common good, the power of the group work and the blending of the etheric field and the diamond light of the heart of the sun with its many facets as fractals for manifesting divinity as the common good. So let it be and help us to do our part. Let's begin our journey. We invite you to join the action area groups, preparing the group focus and meditation on the topics for the next two months meditations as it's been shared earlier today in the science of text cross we will work with theme of resources and sharing and in the next new moon scorpio under the sign of scorpio we will work with the topic meeting basic human needs and decent living for all And under the energies of Sagittarius, we invite us to work with the topic of unity through sound, reaching beyond language and cultural barriers. And that is a part of our work with theme of harmonization and right relations. So please, if you would like to join action area groups in, in working on any of those topics, 
either email us or submit your sound, <laughs> your notes uh, via the resonance board. So let's experiment begins. Um. 